Hey guys, how's it going? We are back with another unturned tutorial. I'm gonna show y'all how to make a clothing mod. I did it like five years ago. Um, but it uh is not up to date anymore. So we are gonna create a new project. So you wanna be using Unity 2021.3.29F1. And if you once you got that, I will put that link in the description as well. And then create your project and name it whatever you want as well. Alright. Now that we're back here, we are in the Unity. We are in our scene. We what we want to do first is we're gonna click this little orientation cube in the middle here. I don't know if it does anything or not. I'm gonna get rid of this light. First things first, now that we deleted the light, we're gonna create a folder. We're gonna name it assets and then we're going to create another folder and name it bundler we're going to head over here to your unturned files it should be looking like this once you're here and go to your extras and sources and then right here you will find example assets and project you want to drag project is going to be bun in your bundler folder so don't drag both of them in there at the same time. Drag one in at a time so you don't lose track. Anyways, now that you're here, it'll pop up this. I just import all of them. I don't really care. All right, now that it loaded, it imported an editor folder and a runtime folder. Drag both of those into your bundler folder. Then... You're basically leaving that folder alone, never touching it again. Let's go back to the sources folder, which is here. And then you want to drag the example assets over to assets. Now, this will also take a minute. So, this has a lot of stuff. This has almost every kind of item in the game or thing in the game. Honestly, it's kind of confusing. But, um, we don't really need all of it. So, we're going to collapse all of the folders once you have it loaded. And we're going to deselect all of the CG includes. So you can close that one. In the Core Master Bundle, we're not going to have animals, so you can close that. We're not going to have effects, so you can close that. Items, we are going to have items. But you can deselect it and then close the ones you're not going to use. So right now, we are going to be doing pants. I will show you all how to do shirts too. But I'm not going to show you all the re-import of everything. So just remember this part. Because it's the exact same as pants and everything else. So you just want to go through. See, here's pants. So we're doing pants, so we're going to select it. Now, we just go past everything else. And now, here's shirts. If you wanted to do shirts, you would select it. And we don't really want to do mesh replacement, so deselect that. That would be your option right there. And then it's the exact same thing as pants. But we're not going to do shirts right now. So I'm going to not do that. <coughs> Then you're going to just keep going through, deselecting everything that you don't need. Level, we don't need that. Objects, we don't need objects because those are the objects inside of a map. Like the buildings and all that stuff. Sounds, we don't need sounds. Terrain, we don't need terrain. Trees, no trees. No trees here. Vehicles, we're not doing vehicles. Alright, and now in game, <coughs> in game, we are going to deselect bundles which is just maps and then in sources we are going to have sources so we're going to deselect all the items and then start closing the ones we don't need again like i said we're doing pants right now so i'm going to select pants this is the exact same not going to do characters not going to do that now I'm going to do generic and items. We're going to deselect all of them. Go on through here. 
can find our pants once again. See, look, yeah. So here's where you would find your hat. So if you want to do a hat and you wanted to change the model of it, this is where you would put that model and do that. That's a whole nother tutorial. If y'all would want that, you would have to let me know because, I mean, I can do that. I can do hats, vests, um, pretty much anything as long as I can learn it. Um, anyways, but yeah, look, here's your shirts as well. We're never going to touch this. We are never going to touch these. These are just going to stay here, never be touched. Because <clears throat> we don't want to mess up the model. So let's just keep going through and deselecting all of these resources. We don't need nothing in the resources. And in the text mesh pro, we don't need anything. So these are the only things you should have. The core items, pants, game, sources, animation, character, human items, pants, models, items, pants. And that's it. That's all you need. And now we're going to click import. So it, inter it imported these two folders right here. We're going to drag these into our assets folder. Now we want to open assets. Let's go ahead and open all of these. Now you're not going to ever use all of them, but I just like to open them all just to see and be able to swap in between. So what we're going to be messing with is right here. This is all we're going to mess with. So you don't have to change names. You don't have to do nothing. All you have to do is go in here, drag this right here. So these are your pants. <clears throat> this is gonna be what you find on the ground, what you place on the ground whenever you drop it. Now, the important part in here, only important thing you ever need to remember is this this whole side right over here this will make it look right in the game and on the model so what we're going to do is i've already created a uh some pants we're going to come in here we're going to go to my mod and then we're going to find the bottoms this doesn't look the same as this we need to make it look the same so we're going to go over here we're going to make sure the alpha is transparent. The wrap mode is on clamp. Filter mode is point no filter. Max size 128. That makes sure it's pixel. We're going to keep it on Mitchell. And then RGBA 32 bit. And then apply. And then what you want to do. Is you're going to want to rename. The PNG that you imported. To pants. So we're going to delete this one now. That we don't need it. And rename this as pants. And then delete the material as well. So now you see it's pink. Oh no. Boom, boom, boom. Now we're good. So, as you see, this item right here is still pink, yeah. And this one's not. Why is that? It's because it's not the same item. You want to delete this. And then you want to drag from this up here to down here. That makes sure your item is in the game and right now if the icon in the game shows up glossy i don't know how to fix that but it doesn't show up glossy on your character which is all that really matters um but now that you got your item dragged over here you want to go into this material folder delete that one because i didn't mean to do that one we're going to drag our Pants. Don't forget to rename this pants. And then we're going to rename the circle. We're going to rename that as material. Oh, not. I can't spell y'all. 
There we go. And then delete the material folder. And that's it. You are done. You just put your first pant ready to go in game. Now all you gotta do is make sure you have go back all the way to your assets folder where you started and you made the assets and bundler folder. Select your assets, but don't go in it. Come up here to window, go to unturned, and then bundle tool and click grab. And then it should say bundle assets. If it doesn't say bundle assets, it's probably because you picked the wrong folder. Um, you want to make sure you have the right folder picked. Suit black pants. Yep, we're doing that. One. Okay. Anyways, now you're going to come in here and name this one suit black pants. Save. But then we are going to come up in here. And then delete the shirt. Make sure you remember that it's called shirt. And then delete the material as well. So now that we've done that, we're going to go back in here. We're going to go to my... I'm going to go here. Black suit top. No, black red. Black red, there we go. So rename this as shirt. And then do the same thing as you did for the pants. Alpha transparent clamp point no filter 128 Mitchell RGBA 32 bit apply. And now we're gonna just drag it onto there. We're gonna delete this item. We're going to go in here, drag this material back out here, delete that folder, rename this as material, and then drag this item back in here. Now we are done. Now, all you got to do again, go back out to your assets, select your assets, window, unturned, bundle, grab, bundle. And then go back to wherever you're putting your files so you don't lose it. Which I'm going to go all the way in here. Black, red, suit, top. Let's just save it as that one. Just so it um, deletes the other old one. <laughs> now you can get out of all this. Save it if you want. Same, they will show up in game. But you want to make sure that you edit your DAT and all that other fun stuff. And don't forget to change your IDs and all that stuff. Make sure you copy the exclude from master bundle as well. So now, what you want to do, now that you have finished your English and your your English DAT and your whatever DAT and your Unity. Now you want to copy your folder that has all of it in there. So you see, make sure it's all the same name and stuff as well so that the game can read it. So copy it, go to your unturned, your bundles, items. Since I'm doing the pants first, do the pants. So this is where it's at. And then just control V. Now it's in the game. Now I'm going to also put in my. Uh, my top. My shirt. My suit top. Black red suit top. Control C. Go back to unturned. Bundles. Items. Shirts. This is the location. And control V. Now. You're done. It's in the game. Now you can spawn it. It should work. I'm going to test it out. See if it works. And then I will be back. Alright. Now. <clears throat> that we are in the game. We. Have all of our. Things here. This is another shirt I made. Let me know if you like it. I like it. That's my 
That's my name right there. Wolfie 8, you know. Wolfie 8 bit, you know. Can't go hard. So this is the dive bottle. Uh, I do need to fix it. It is still a little messed up, obviously. Um, I think I already fixed it. I just haven't fixed it in the game yet. But they're pretty cool. Um, let me show you what one looks like. This is the dime bottle. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. All right. Cool. Now, let me put that back in my inventory. So we have here the Mafia Tuxedo Bottoms and the Suit Bottoms. And then we have my black and red suit jacket. Yes, let's go over here to crafting. Look at this. You can craft the black suit pants from those pants. And we're going to salvage this one. Look, it gave us cloth. Wow. Let's put on these pants and this suit. Look how snazzy your boy looks, y'all. <clears throat> Me oh my. He looks so snazzy. I think that looks great, actually. Surprise. <laughs> I didn't expect it to look that good, honestly. Sweet. I'm happy with that. Awesome, guys. Well, that's how you, uh, that's how you make, um, unturned mods, unturned clothing mods. Welcome to the modding community, y'all. I hope you freaking enjoy it. It's gonna be a fun ride.